Hey everybody, welcome back to Growing with Papa Jay. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about accessories, the key things you need to go along with the purchase of your big green egg. But before we get started, if you like what you see and you hear, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. I don't get paid for anything I do. I don't have any adver advertisements. I do this just for the fun of it. So I hope you enjoy what you're about to watch. Let's get into it. Accessories. What are the key accessories I use with my big green egg. I've been growing on the egg for about seven years now, and the first thing I got, and you might, if you've watched some of my other episodes, you might've heard me talk about it. The number one thing I love and I can't do without, the instant read thermometer. Now, this is the um, Thermapen version. Um, there's other versions out there. I probably, over the last seven years, between gifting and the ones I have, I probably purchased eight to 10 of these things. It's the number one thing that's changed my cooking. I, I use it for pork tenderloin. Anything I'm grilling, I need to know what the temperature is. My wife grabs it all the time when she's cooking in the oven. She wants to know what the temperature of something is. Hey, I'm cooking meatballs. What are these things at? Last thing you want these little meatballs all dried out. Do yourself a favor. It doesn't need to be a thermopen. I don't get paid by them. I just love their product. Give it a try. Let me know what you think, if you have one or if you get one and start using it. Um, if I could only have one item with my big green egg, this is what I would want. Now, from here on out, it's not an order of priority, you know, the second thing, third thing. These are just a list of some of the things I like. Tongs, extra long, sturdy ones. When you're reaching in um, and you got some flames coming up, the last thing you want or are short ones and your hands are over those flames and you're burning all the hairs off of your fingers and who knows what else. So get yourself a longer pair and make sure they're sturdy. Some of the ones you buy, when you squeeze them together, they bend in the middle and they're not grabbing um, that piece of chicken, that steak, whatever it is you're trying to flip or get off the grill. So get yourself a nice pair of these. Try to get as long as ones as you can. They're not very expensive. I think I got these at Restaurant Depot. I think I paid, I think it was $12. I, I, I don't remember the exact number, but it was not very expensive. Um, if I had to have a second thing, it would have, that I had to have a pair of welding gloves. I can't tell you how many pairs of these I've gone through in seven years. Um, Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight makes these. Um, it came in a three pack with a discount. You know, you always get the discount code, sign up and they, they blast them out to you all the time. Get yourself a pair, a pack of welding gloves, have a couple on hand, but these are hardy three pair, 14 inch leather welding gloves. When you're trying to lift that plate setter, when you're trying to make a, a change in your elevation and you got to pull something off, there's nothing like it. When I start my cook and I want to stir the leftover lump, I put on my welding gloves. I give it a stir so all the ash falls down. Um, very key. Get, get yourself a pair of welding gloves. You, you, know, you won't go wrong with those. Um, another thing I love and I use a lot of is aluminum foil. Kirkland, you know, go, go to Costco if you're a member. Um, this thing is 18 inches by 500 feet. I've had this a while. They just had it on sale last week, so I bought two or three of these. I'll have this for a couple years now. Definitely check out the aluminum foil. I use it to cover my plate setter, um, you know, my drip pans. Um, and if, it, if you're at the same time you're grabbing this, right next to it are the aluminum um, pans that I put underneath when I'm cooking a uh, brisket, when I'm doing a, a, a pork butt, when I'm cooking a, a chicken or a turkey, I use the um, foil pans, drip pans. I think they come in a 10, 12 pack, not very expensive. I keep probably 10, 20 of those on hand right next to my, um, my stuff out there where my big green egg is. So definitely check that out. And um, another item that I thought was a joke when I got it, the ash tool. Um, when I got this thing with my egg, I, my first egg was an extra large. And 
like, oh, we'll throw in the ash pan and a, and a, you know, a bag of lump. And I'm like, whatever. You know, I, I didn't think much of the ash tool. And um, let me tell you, when the ash starts building up and you don't need to do a full clean out, this tool is truly worth whatever they charge you. I, it's probably way more than it needs to be. You could probably make this at home if you're, if you're handy, but being able to get in there and, and pull the ash, I put a trash can, make sure everything's nice and cool, put a trash can right up um, to the lip of the egg, and I just pull all the ash and get it from, flip it over and get it from all the corners or the, you know, the edges and pull it all out. Now, I, I still will do a full clean out before I do like a, a low and slow brisket cook that's gonna you know, go 16, 18, 20 hours, depending on the size of the brisket. Um, so I'll take everything out, clean it totally, make sure all the little vents are cleaned out. But in between when I just, you know, I, I wanna throw on some, some chicken and I, and I see the ashes building up, the ash tool they surprised me but um, something I, I definitely, definitely like. Um, the other thing that shouldn't be an accessory, but is an accessory, are the side tables. Now, I didn't bring one down here to show you, um, but I don't have mine, my egg mounted in a large table. I have mine um, on their regular old nest, and I, and I roll them out of my garage, and I cook with them. But you always need something to, to, you know, some place to set something down. So think about getting yourself the side tables. Not cheap, I, I, I'm thinking they're 130, they might even be way north of that. Um, I'll have to look up the price and I'll try to put it on the screen. Those are some of the tools that I find invaluable for doing my cooks on the big green egg. Please let me know, um, there might be some things that you use different than I, you have, might have a different setup, but let me know what you might be using, what you find to be a key um, tool in your in your cooking on the big green egg. I hope you enjoy this. Please remember, try to subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers. I think at the time I'm doing this, I'm about 630, 632. Um, but I want to see if I can hit a thousand. Um, I'm really honored by every single time I get a somebody subscribed to my channel. Um, I really appreciate it. My, my kids can't believe I have over 600 people subscribing to the channel. So it means a lot to me, it means a lot to them too. But um, I hope you enjoy this episode. I hope you enjoy all my episodes. Please look out on my channel, Growing with Papa Jay on YouTube. Check some of the other, um, the other videos I have out there. You might find something that um, you, you enjoy. So thanks for watching and have a great day.